Hello. Nomad Sculpt and Procreate Teamwork video number eight. Uh, there was there was a, a question on the Facebook group. No, not this one. Um, is it possible to do this um, police uh, metal or to replicate it? Yes, but this picture is not perfect to do this. Um, I searched uh, the internet for a better picture and this um, this one um, with the black and white outlines is better. Okay, I downloaded it and brought it to Procreate and this was uh, the picture. I trimmed the rest away and we only need the black and white lines uh, because only the black lines. Um, this was the result. This was the most work to get this black and white lines. And um, now we share the picture uh, as a PNG. Save it. And now we need an online tool. Um, this image to STL um, I post the, the link in, in the description. This is the best converter for um, images to STL I, I found so far because it makes absolutely clear lines. Upload your file and in the settings uh, go to the tool extrude the rest is okay and convert your file. It takes a few seconds. And here's a preview of it. And it's a flat STL file, not extruded. It, uh, but it's absolutely clear. Download it, save it. And now let's go to Nomad Sculpt. Let's create a new scene to start from the beginning. And import, add to scene, yes. And open your file, this is it. And I turn on the wireframe, you see. And when you zoom in, there are sharp outlines and it's a real clear yes a shape of this and but one thing is very important first go to the topology and use the decimation and press it one time now it's okay because the mesh is not okay. When do this one time decimation and it works. Okay, now we can mask the object and extract the mask. The first object we don't need anymore. And it's possible to, um, we can, this, when you use, um, smooth shading or not, um, the object, this is the final result. Um, but you can voxel remesh it and uh, use a higher topology. It's possible. Okay, As the next step is we need procreate again and use this picture as a reference, create a new, new layer and use um, uh, automatic selection 
and freehand, uh, not freehand, automatic and use uh, smooth uh, edges or and smooth it a little bit and now uh, invert it and fill the layer and save it as a PNG. Now we need the online tool again, convert another image, upload the file, extrude, select it, convert, Here's the preview, download, and go to Nomad, and import the file. And remember, decimation, decimated one time. Now you can mask this and give it a shell thickness. Extract it. and bring the two objects together. The, this mesh we don't need anymore. And yes, we can scale it here a little bit um, to get this effect. And Now it's possible to do, um, yes, the sculpting or um, post-processing and let's, let's do it. Um, we can keep the meshes separate and or we can uh, merge it. Let's uh, keep it separated. And now let's use um, the voxel remesher, keep sharp edges. Bring the resolution up to such a count and turn on the wireframe. And here it is possible to Use it a little bit higher. Um, topology is not fine. Um, do we have another? Ah, okay, let's try to um, decimate it one, two times and um, look what happens. Yes, this look fine. so much and not so high. Okay, let's paint it. This one, we 
can voxel remesh it. Keep sharp edges, remesh. And paint all. Let's leave it like this. And now we can simple match the object. So post subdivision is on. Use the decimation. Move tool, symmetry is on. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.